All right, guys, I got the Pixis in hand here. We did have an Atlas Mercury on here just earlier, but... Cam has to be the first person to put a full frame anamorphic on this new Pixis. I had to. This thing is amazing. There's a, a few things that I know some people are complaining about the side screen. I'm going to break it all down for you guys real quick. First off, just to cover the bases, we have a screen lock on here. You know, if you're scared about your hand touching and messing up the settings, that's not going to be an issue. I'm sure there's going to be brands like Condor Blue who makes like a flap over thing that's going to cover the screen to protect it. I know I want something like that. Another really cool thing is we go to our menu system. Currently on the cinema camera 6K, there's only a couple of de-stretch options in camera. We now have the full gamut of de-stretch options. We have all the de-stretch that you're gonna need. That's a huge upgrade for me. When it comes to the guts, this is basically the same sensor and processor as the Cinema Camera 6K, but we obviously have an SDI port, we have Ethernet port. We don't have to deal with all those ports dingling around and you yanking your cables out. We have two CF Express B ports right here. These are the only covers on the camera. On the side here, there's gonna be a bunch of different options. Again, I'm sure Connor Blue's gonna make some really cool stuff where you can, you know, rig up different things. I can't imagine like what I would wanna rig up over here. Maybe a side grip, SSD grips, like there's gonna be a million things. This top handle, Blackmagic will be selling this separate. This thing will bring me into the balance of this. Again, with the Cinecare 6K, it was shaped like a football. So when you rigged it out, the weight was always distributed very odd and weird. And it wasn't the most comfortable thing to hold all day. Finally, with this, you can see this thing, the balance on this is going to be amazing. You can imagine too, we're gonna to get rear V-mount support at some point, you know, Connor Blue's probably gonna work on that too. Put a V-mount here, it's gonna fix the balance even more. You guys know I like doing a lot of like my run and gun cowboy shit. When I'm doing this and I need to change a setting, I'm gonna come right here, we go on the menu, change it real quick, bam, right there. I'm gonna have an external monitor. Everyone that's like, anyone that's complaining about this, when you're running a cinema camera, no one's using a built-in monitor on a cinema camera. This is for operating. If you need to actually see what you're doing and you know compose, we have external monitors. And again, this thing's built out. It's, it's finally a cube camera, so we can rig it out properly. We're gonna have L mount, EF mount, and PL mount. I'll probably just rock L mount because I have a bunch of adapters. I have a rare VND adapter and it works great. But yeah, we're gonna have 6K open gate. The open gate's amazing. Uh, we are stuck at, I think, 30 frames max per second. I think that's what it is. So if you want to do any slow-mo, you got to go on Super 35. And they have a true Super 35 mode, not like an APS-C crop. It's a real Super 35 that can match, you know, a film aspect ratio of Super 35. Guys, for audio ports, we do have a 3.5 millimeter jack. You can't get that on a red Komodo. And then we also have a, XLR, a mini XLR port in the front. Uh, if you're rocking a viewfinder, we have a, a USB-C and it's a locking USB-C cable that you can put in down there. We have an SDI port back here. There's no HDMI, which is normal. A lot of cinema cameras don't have HDMI because it's actually a very slow connection and it's very laggy. So with SDI, you're getting way better uh, like locking cables that you can put on there and they're more robust and they're faster too. So if you're doing anything where you need the fast readout, you're going to get that with SDI. Okay, I think I'm done. <laughs> that was a lot. Well, get B-roll real quick and anamorphic.